most amazing firefighting aircraft in the world. The planet is in flames. Many nations are currently experiencing fires of biblical proportions, as infernos continue to rampage across the globe. A diverse array of aircraft, each piloted by a hero and possessing exceptional skills, are confronted by these firestorms. The war on fire has involved the deployment of converted World War II fighter bombers, helicopters, custom-built flying boats, and even enormous airliners. To extinguish the flames in these smoldering hellscapes, one must possess exceptional flying abilities and fortitude of steel. Here are some of the most exceptional aerial firefighting aircraft. Air Tractor Fire Boss, also known as the Sex Tractor Fan. Originally intended as a rugged crop spraying aircraft, the Air Tractor adeptly assumed the responsibility of firefighting. In addition to the 820 US gallon standard fuselage mounted retardant tank, the Fire Boss can be equipped with optional 35 US gallon foam containers when they are equipped with floats. The AD 802F is transformed into the Fire Boss Scooper Air Tanker when it is equipped with amphibious floats, which enable it to descend on and draw water from reservoirs, rivers, or lakes. Fire Boss is capable of delivering up to 14,000 liters per hour for extended attack or ground support from a local water source, as per Air Tractor. The company also notes that an unimproved runway or water side ramp and fuel are all it needs to be a highly cost-effective forward attack air tanker. The Fire Boss can be likened to the A-10 of the firefighting industry. It is cost-effective to operate, can endure extremely hazardous conditions, and can be deployed repeatedly in specific locations where the adversary does not intend it. The Evergreen 747 Supertanker can be described as jumbo on a gap year. In addition to being the largest aerial firefighting aircraft in the world, it is also one of the largest aircraft, period. It is somewhat peculiar that the 747, which is renowned for its airliner capabilities, should assume such a severe and gritty role. However, it has done so, and it contributes significantly to the celebration. With a capacity of 18,600 U.S. gallons, Evergreen International Aviation in Oregon developed the first operational supertanker, which was based on a 747-100 manufactured in 1971 for Delta Airlines. In 2009, it was called into service to suppress a fire in Cuenca, Spain. Its inaugural operation in the United States occurred on August 31, 2009, at the Oak Glen Fire in California. It has since been decommissioned. Global Supertanker Services, which had acquired the majority of Evergreen's assets, converted the other operational 747 Supertanker. The spirit of John Muir, a naturalist, author, environmental philosopher, and pioneering advocate for the preservation of wilderness in the United States, is the name of the Boeing 747-400 that serves as the Global Supertanker. In September 2016, it was certified for firefighting flights and has since been deployed to combat flames in Chile, Israel, and California wildfires in 2017. It intervened in Bolivian forest fires in August 2019. Ericsson S-64 Aircrane, also known as the Aircrane in the Membrane. The Aircrane is becoming increasingly sought after globally as a reliable solution for combating forest fires, particularly those that pose a threat to urban areas. It has been likened to a dragonfly a stick insect, or a gigantic grasshopper. The Sikorsky S-64 Skycrane was initially developed as a cargo carrier for the United States Army. The corporation invested in three private venture prototypes of the turbine-powered Sikorsky S-64, A after the piston-powered Sikorsky S-60. The U.S. Army evaluated four YCH-54 as in two in Germany which resulted in the production of 54 CH-54 as Sikorsky designation H-64E for the U.S. Army. Subsequently, 35 CH-54B's S-64F were produced. Seven S-64E aircraft were sold by Sikorsky for civil purposes. Ericsson Aircrane, Incorporated acquired the Skycrane type certificate from Sikorsky in 1992. This encompassed the entire manufacturing and support rights for the S-64E, which has a cargo of 20,000 pounds, and the S-64F, which has a payload of 25,000 pounds. The S-64F achieved numerous helicopter time to height records and a record for sustained flight at an altitude of 36,122 feet due to its high power reserves, which are a result of its lightweight. Since acquiring the type certificate, Ericsson has constructed 35 aircranes, 
These are produced through the conversion of ex-US Army machines, which are disassembled and reconstructed in three modules, the cockpit, central fuselage, and a new built rear boom. Martin JRI Mars, Mars Attacks. The Martin Mars is considered one of the finest aircraft to have ever flown if success is solely determined by its longevity of service. JRM Mars, which was initially designed as a maritime patrolled aircraft and first flew in June 1942, is still potentially operational as of 2020. The U.S. Navy deemed the Mars to be obsolete in its intended function and opted to operate it as a transport aircraft. Even though only the prototype and six production aircraft were ever constructed, the Mars was extensively utilized, setting a passenger carrying record in 1949 by transporting 269 individuals from San Diego to Alameda, California. The saga would have come to an end had Forest Industries Flying Tankers, a consortium of British Columbian forestry companies, not acquired all four Mars survivors in 1959. The remaining examples were retired in 1956, approximately a decade after construction. Mars was the largest air tanker in the world by a significant margin when it was converted for the firefighting role by ferry aviation. PBLI Catalinas were the most prevalent flying boat air tankers during the 1960s and 1970s, with the capacity to transport 1,000 U.S. gallons of water or retardant. In contrast, Mars was able to transport an impressive 7,200 U.S. liters the Mars, like the Catalina, was equipped with scoops to enable it to refill its tanks from any sufficiently large body of water while skimming the surface. The complete 7,200 gallons 30 tons were absorbed in 22 seconds. The aircraft's immense capacity and sheer bulk demonstrated its value in service. The Mars is capable of covering three to four acres in a single drop and continuing to collect and dispense additional water for as long as the fuel lasts, a practice that is typically employed to suppress fires. The typical operation lasted approximately five and a half hours, during which hundreds of tons of water and retardant were potentially released into the path of a conflagration. Marianas Mars was lost in a fatal crash in 1961 and Caroline Mars was written off after it broke free from its moorings during Typhoon Frida in 1962. However, Philippine Mars and Hawaii Mars I served continuously until 2006. When Philippine Mars was withdrawn, it remained stored in an airworthy condition. The last fire that Hawaii Mars I battled was in 2015, and it was offered for sale or lease in 2016. However, no buyer was found. Mars remains under the ownership of Coulson Aviation, which made significant efforts to modernize the aircraft in the early 2000s. These efforts included the installation of a glass cockpit, the updating of safety standards, and the integration of a variety of descent aids and equipment. At present, the aircraft is being advertised to familiarize aspiring Mars pilots. However, the $25,000 per person cost for a two-day course that includes an hour of flight time may deter the less affluent flying boat enthusiast. Nevertheless, Coulson continues to include the Mars in their active firefighting inventory, alongside their more mundane C-130s and 737s. It is conceivable that this, the most exceptional of the Second World War vintage firefighters, could yet once again be deployed. Viking 415 and Bombardier 215 are fire berserkers. The Heroic 15 series is the sole aerial firefighter that was specifically designed for the task. Canadair was the sole aircraft designed to fulfill this function, and it undoubtedly succeeded. The 15s are amphibious flying boats that are both durable and dependable, capable of flying to any location and extinguishing fires with ease. Initially, it was equipped with two of the formidable R-2800 radials, which were the engines of the Thunderbolt and Corsair during World War II. These engines provided it with impressive 4,000 horsepower. Currently, turboprops provide it with nearly 5,000 horsepower and a plethora of ultra-modern avionics that are capable of both detecting and suppressing forest fires. According to the Spanish Association for the Promotion of Sociocultural Activities, a group that is as averse to hyperbole as its drab name implies, this is the most effective tool for the aerial combat of forest fires, the key to the organization of firefighting in a large number of countries. These aircraft have become the aerial means most in demand over the past three decades due to the continuous improvements made to satisfy the needs of forest firefighting. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and drop a comment below to let us know what you think.